Hi everyone, in this video we'll show you what Carnival's main dining room dinner food and menus were like from our March 2022 cruise on the Carnival Vista. This was a 7 day cruise, so there was a lobster night and it was a pretty good one. Interestingly, it was on night 2 of the cruise. Before we begin, we would like to point out some changes so we know this. You're not supposed to just show up at the main dining room and wait to be seated anymore. We had your time dining and we had to use the Carnival Hub app to reserve a table and then wait for the app to let us know that the table is ready, along with a table number. Then we would head to the main dining room and tell one of the hosts there our table number. It was a bit confusing at first, but you should get the hang of it quickly. Uh, the menu is also digital now too. You can see what's for dinner every night of the cruise and plan accordingly in the Carnival Hub app. There is also a QR code you can scan once you're at your table, which will show you the menu on your smartphone web browser. You don't need to buy an internet package to access the Carnival Hub app or the menus, but you should definitely install the Carnival Hub app before boarding the ship to save some hassle. Your time dining for dinner is available from 5.15pm to 9.30pm, and we recommend that you use the app to check in to reserve a table 10-15 to 15 minutes before you're ready to go to the dining room to save time. If you're doing the traditional dining option, the first seating is open at 6 p.m. and the second seating is 8.15 p.m. You wouldn't have to use the app to check in for those options. Just head over to the dining room at those times and you should have the same table every night. Now let's take a look at the menu and food. There are several appetizers, main entrees, and dessert that are available every dinner or just about. So we're going to show you those first. Enjoy! Salmon. Nice and crispy outside. Tender and juicy inside. It's lacking some kind of sauce, I think. It's very simple, but the salmon is really, really good. Strip loin steak. It's medium rare here a little bit, I guess. With the sauce. Mm. A little bit chewy. It's nice and smoky though. Let me try in the middle here. This is kind of medium rare. Oh, it's tender. But it's not as tender as a lot of sticks. But I, I like how it has that nice smoky flavor to it. It's not bad. Pretty good. Onion is so good. Mm. Let me try this. What's that? That's some kind of pickle. It's pretty strong. In there. That's really spicy. Yeah. Let me try the curry. Yeah. This looks like um, lentil. Mmm. Mmm. It's so creamy. Roasted cauliflower. Yeah. Curry. Mmm, that's really good. Oh, I'm digging this rice. It's so good. Mm. Let me try it by itself first. Ice cream. It's almost like souffle, but it's much thicker. I 
I like how it's nice and warm and it goes so well with the, the ice cream. It's very comforting. So this is here is salmon first. Let me try this. Oh, mm. that's pretty good. Mm. The salmon is nice and tender. I kind of taste this little orange um, aftertaste. This is good. I like this. this it's almost like the texture of sashimi. Mmm. That's good. I like it. And this is this is supposed to be to, tomato. Yeah. Um, the red part. Oh no, this is candy tomato right here. Yeah. This is what it is. And this these are cured salmon. Mm. The tomato does taste kind of like candy. That's very unique. Mm, I like it. I like it. It's almost like sashimi. This is interesting. Very creative. It's a soup. A cold soup. <laughs> this is smoothie. Oh, look, this is so cute. It's like jelly right here. <laughs> this jelly is like dessert. This is like smoothie, strawberry smoothie. Not nothing soup, soupy about it. But I do like the soup. The flavor is really good. Nice, strong, um, fresh strawberry flavor. I will not think it's a soup at all, but it's a nice, delicious uh, smoothie. <laughs> Sweet and sour shrimp. This is kind of like tempura shrimp. Try with the sweet and sour sauce here. The classic sweet and sour sauce. The shrimp, the batter, they make it so crispy. Oh yeah. This comes with the uh, fried rice. Good, good balance. Ooh, falling apart already. That's a good sign. This could is really tender. And the uh, mashed potato is so nice and... Oh, I like that. That's really good. So this is strawberry cream. I don't know what kind of sauce this is. I do like this uh, strawberry cream. It's basically whipped cream with a really nice, fresh, strong strawberry flavor. Oh, this is pretty good. It's almost espresso flavored in here. This little <coughs> cream sauce on the side here. Let me try it again with the cream sauce. Mm. That cream sauce with the espresso flavor is totally enhanced. The flavor of this uh, tiramisu. Mm. 
Yes, pretty good with the sauce, especially. I think it's really good. Sicilian meatball soup. Wow, those are some big chunk, big meatballs. That's good. The meatball is very nice and tender. I like the size of it. Look at that. Oh, this is nice. Oh yeah, this is good. Very good. Fried oysters. It's cut in the middle. See how it looks inside. Ooh, I can see the steam coming out. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. The batter outside is nice and crispy. The oyster is um, nice and has a nice texture to it. It's juicy, I see. Look, I see and see the juice is inside here, it's oozing out. Mm. Oh, this is nice and juicy. Oh, this is good. And I can taste a little bit sweetness of the oyster. And the oyster meat is nice and tender. It's good. Melted butter. Oh, and this is risotto, I think. It's served with risotto. Let me try by itself first. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. I like how they don't overcook the uh, and lobster. It's cooked perfectly. You try with the melted butter here. Mm. 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 I like that. Oh, you can taste the sweetness of the lobster tail. That's good. I like it a lot. So you liked it so much, they brought out a second one for you. <laughs> <laughs> my that's nice of them. Yeah. That's very nice of them. Yeah, yeah the lobster, oh yeah, they cook it so good. Um, yeah. I just ate two lobster tails with a little bit of risotto and some broccoli. <laughs> I could go for a third one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but I wouldn't do that. It's so good, they cook it really good. Oh yeah. I can eat so much. I can eat three or four of these. 
Don't eat anything else, just that and broccoli. And I'm happy. In the center, as always, with. We had a medium rare. Pretty good. It's not as tender as other prime rib, but we tried. Let, let me take another bite. Ooh, with horseradish. Yeah. Yeah. Tender as I expected. It's not bad, but I taste some prime rib that's more tender than this. But the coffee is nice and strong. Mmm. You like coffee? Coffee dessert? Oh, you will love this. It has a really nice, strong espresso flavor of this coffee powder on the top. And the, the cake is all very gentle, fluffy, and creamy at the same time, but very light. And so that way, the coffee you can totally, the coffee flavor can stand out. Mmm, that's good. This is really good, actually. Crumbly, crispy, look at that. But um, you all know how it tastes. I skipped this though. I'm going for this. So smooth. So creamy. A little bit eggy. Yeah, that's a really good crumble egg. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Oh my goodness. I need a moment of silence. The smell is nice and tender. I like the herbs and the um, and the um, butter. It's good. Classic escargot. Oh, look at some uh, onion here. Yeah, they definitely have. They put more herbs and in they instead of just butter. There's there's onions and herbs. I like it. This is good. Yeah. So that it's not like too much uh, heavily butter taste to it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Vegetables, spring rolls. Ooh, crunchy. With soy sauce. wrap is so nice and crispy so crunchy and tons of vegetable in it mm. this light soy sauce dip it's good yeah i, I like it mm. 
Grilled tilapia. The fish is nice and flaky. And um, the outside is crispy and inside is tender and flaky. It's good. I like this. And the seasoning is very simple and yet it's, it's really good. Mm. They grill in the way that it's, it's actually very delicate and simple and yet it's the crispiness from the, the, uh, the top is actually really good. Very simple and yet satisfying. This this is really good. As you see, there's no sauce there, but yet the smokiness from the grill is really, um, really good. Bring out the natural flavors of each ingredient. Mmm, that's good. Lamb leg. Okay. Okay. I like it with the lamb though. I like it better, but this is not bad. The sauce, I like the sauce. The gravy. Mm -hmm. The lamb is good. It's lamby, but not overpowering. Um pretty tender. Yeah, pretty good. Stuffed portobello mushroom with stuffed with spinach, tomato sauce, cheese on top, and I think it's sweet potatoes. Sauce here. Mm, that this sauce is is so phenomenal. It's so good. It's packed with flavor. It's tomato. It's tomato sauce, but it has some cream creaminess to it. I like this sauce here. And then the portobello mushroom with spinach and the sweet potato with different textures. Oh man, this sauce is like sensational. Mm. Mm. And the sweet potatoes, that's actually go very well with it. It's like a very complex dish, even though it's vegetarian. That's a really good vegetarian dish. Yum. Thumbs up for this for sure. Strawberry sauce. I'm having fun with this. Oh my. Is that enough chocolate? Not bad. Classic cheesecake. Did the strawberry sauce? For the cheese, cheesecake is classic cheesecake. Panacotta, chocolate panacotta. That's too big of a bite. Oh. That's good. Very chocolatey. Kind of like chocolate hot cocoa jelly. That's
braised ox tongue. Seriously, don't have to need to uh, chew it. It's like just melt in your mouth. Look, I can just use a fork, pull it out like that. It's like that. It's so tender. Seriously, you can use this as a baby food. <laughs> That's so good. I just cut it. Look at that. I just cut it. It's so tender, super, super tender. Mmm, so good. And I like this little sweetness from the um, the sauce. So it balances out a little bit of fatty, the fatty um, of, from the tongue, because it's a little bit fatty. So with the little sweetness from the, uh, the sauce, balance it out very well. Too. So the sweetness from the sauce and that, that's really good. Oh, this is divine. kind of sauce, I think. It has this, ooh, that's a nice kick to it. The tofu? Yeah, yeah spicy, okay. that's spicy. Mm. Nice and nice flavor. Is um, I can see the, I can taste the ginger, the soy sauce. Mmm, this is a good rice. It's almost like fried rice. And it's spicy, for sure. It's good. I like it. That's really good. Spinach underneath. with the vanilla sauce. It's kind of like um, the style of souffle, 
but it's much consistency much thicker. It's kind of like thick inside. Pretty comforting. Nice and warm. Mm. It would be good with um, ice cream. That's good. Pineapple. I will write six sections, okay? Three. A lot of people ask me why Texas. It's because it's the only thing you can go there. It's good. Nice. Refreshing. Pineapple. With a little bit of whipped cream? How was this? You ready? Have six sections, right? Kind of cookie. I'll do this again. We have six axes. Not too sweet. Fire one, how many axes? It's very simple. Yeah, fire erase the axe. How many axes? I like it. It's good. Not too sweet. Not too sweet. But it definitely has put some kind of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. So that will be with me. <laughs> Fried alligator. Let me try it by itself. See how it tastes. I don't taste any meat. I taste mostly flour. I don't taste any alligator meat. I mean, it's good fried dough. Can be right. We can't change any alligators. Maybe a teeny bit of the meat. Chicken maybe even. <laughs> I don't know. Steamed mussels, 
tender. I can kind of pull it off right away. That feels tender. Mm. Super tender. It's like melting your mouth. Mmm. It's good. I like the barbecue sauce. Mmm. This is the uh, cream corn. Sweet cream corn. And his beans. Mm. I like it. The pork is like, the pork breast is like super, super tender. I don't think I even have to need, I don't even need a knife. You can just pull off with my, my uh, fork even. Let me try it by itself first. The crust is nice and crispy. The apple is so nice and warm. Mm. Let's try with the ice cream. Classic. Oh, I know this is going to be yummy. In the mouth. Good. Definitely a strong taste of hazelnut in there. It's good. It is uh, a little bit unattractive, but uh, let's try it. Mm. I taste, um, there's tons of crabs in here, crab meat in here. It's not, it's uh, not that crispy, but I can taste there's tons and tons of crab meat in here. I'm saying this is apple, apple salad. Let me try either with it. Mm, that's good. That's good. A little crunch from the apple. All they need is just a little bit, uh, make it a little bit crispy outside. Otherwise, it'll be a good crab cake. Because they do have, uh, they do give you a lot of crab meat. Perfectly cooked. Oh, the aroma, the smokiness. Mm, it smells so good. So smoky and the meat is super super tender and then the crispiness a little bit from the outside mm, that is really good what's this sauce here maybe garlic sauce some kind of creamy sauce
kind of creamy sauce with a hint of some lime in that accent. Mm, interesting. It's good. Shrimp is uh, crunchy. Interesting. perfectly cooked inside. Super tender inside, actually. It's good. Classic teriyaki sauce flavor. I'm having fun with it. Inside. It's very dense. I taste better souffle. Like, it's almost like um, bread pudding rather than souffle because it's very, um, it's very dense. Yeah. Once I put a spoon into it, it feels fluffy. Maybe it's fluffy on the very top. Yeah, it's very dense. <laughs> There's a, some crust. This is good. I like this. Definitely tastes like key lime pie, the flavor. And I like how you can taste the lime, but not overpowering. It's not fry. Good flavor. Asian flavor, like sweet and sour, chili sauce kind of. Yeah, Asian sauce. Pretty good. It's a little bread. See, I might need this lemon later. Look at this muscular thighs, frog legs. <laughs> the frog legs, they actually, um, you see, frog legs can be kind of a little bit, the texture, it tastes kind of like chicken. But sometimes you can have a little fishy taste to it, but this actually they don't. I think there's some wine. There's a nice flavor of wine in here, the sauce. Tons of herbs. They did a really good job on this frog legs. They don't have any gamey, fishy taste to it. If you, yeah, this one, this one is very clean tasting. That's good. Pretty 
tender, smoky, crispy. I see it with some kind of sauce. Yeah, usually there's some kind of gravy or yeah. sauce. Fancy looking enchilada. Mm. It's kind of like you're eating fajitas without, you know, the meat. It's good. You know, it's vegetarian, but the flavor packed with uh, the seasoning, I don't miss meat at all. Cheese and beans and vegetables. Mmm, that's actually really good. I have to say this is one of the best enchilada. The inside, the flavor, the seasoning is actually really good. Look uh, tender. Look at that. Look at that. It's so tender and melts in your mouth. It's That's good. I like the sauce. The sauce is like from there, like the beef broth. Kind of. mm. This is a good dish. Super tender. It's tomato sauce. Calamari. Mm. I like the sauce. I think my meat, I really like the sauce. It's kind of remind me of that tomato uh, vodka. You know, tomato has some, some kind of vodka tomato sauce. It's kind of like that. Or uh, a little bit similar to the um, lobster bisque. Kind of like that. It's a good dish. I like it. Alaska. Good. The meringue is yummy. Ice cream is delicious. Wow. <laughs> Do you think that was the uh, number one dessert to cruise? Yeah. <laughs> Look, it hurts. <laughs> Good. It's all right. I'm just finishing it. And that wraps up our Carnival Cruise main dining room dinner tour and review. Overall, we really enjoyed the food, especially lobster night. The chefs did an excellent job. Over the seven night cruise, they had some premium items like lobster, crab cake, mussels, filet mignon, beef tenderloin, salmon, and several shrimp dishes. So we're happy to report that Carnival's main dining room food has not dipped in quality versus before the pandemic. One thing we didn't like was the lack of tablecloth, which made the table look a little less classy. A best bite of the cruise may have been the braised ox tongue. We definitely recommend ordering that appetizer when you see it under the rare find section. Thanks for watching everyone. A big thank you to all the hardworking crew members as well. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in another video.